it looks like the hole that I drilled was a little bit too big so I'm gonna use blue tack for now just to um, uh, put it on I used a five millimeter uh, drill bit but it turns out that's a little bit too big and the 4.5 millimeter drill bit that I use is a little bit too small so I'm thinking it's in between uh, four and a half and uh, five millimeters so until I get a drill bit for that size I think I'm just gonna go ahead and putty it and uh, re-drill the hole once I get the right size drill bit and I'm gonna go ahead and show you this this is a part that I got off the GM striker um, the GM striker actually comes with two shield attachments this is a three millimeter peg and I went ahead and clipped a little bit of it off so that it will fit on my uh, normal 7th Gundam's uh, she, uh, arm and I went ahead and drilled a three millimeter hole here for it to fit and it fits very nicely doesn't even need a poly cap and once I uh, cut out my 7th Gundam shield out from the uh, full armor 7th Gundam I'm gonna go ahead and place it here but until then it's gonna be like this um, now the shield um, holder as I said this is an extra piece so you don't have to worry about getting this piece off a of GM striker but this piece um, is not an extra so um, I'm actually using it um, instead of on my GM striker so if anyone knows where to get this piece uh, like if it's a spare part on another kit please let me know um, via Google Plus and I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit more so here are the neodymium magnets that I showed you before these are the three millimeter diameter size I'm gonna go ahead and drill a three millimeter hole on both ends of this so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and come back what's cool about this magnet is that it actually sticks to my wave drill bit so I can go ahead and put it in like that and then I'm gonna do the same for this part right here so I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole okay so in hindsight it would have probably been easier if I didn't have this hole here and I just uh, instead of uh, guesstimating here um, to make them align I should have just made up one millimeter pilot hole straight through and then just drilled a three millimeter on each side of the pilot hole and then made a, a three millimeter hole straight in the middle here and effectively negating the whatever one millimeter hole was in the middle so um, I actually can't do that now since I uh, uh, I already made a, a hole in the other one but um, actually I can just make a pilot hole one millimeter straight through and I guess the peg won't be effective ho affected hopefully um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so after drilling a couple of three millimeter holes I was able to attach the ankle armor so it's nice and snug pretty awesome Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you my tool. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the description. This is video, I don't know, a whip 2, I guess. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a 1 millimeter pin or drill bit and put it on my pin vise and drill right in the middle of the peg so that this can go the opposite side can go in or the peg portion of the tool can go in 
And so I'm going to go ahead and put this here. And I'm going to try to align it as best as I can. So hopefully this will be good enough. Oops. So just push it together as hard as you can and hope that it makes a um, a mark. So you go ahead and take that mark and you drill a hole in that mark, preferably a um, pilot hole with a smaller um, drill or a drill bit so that you can check your work. My camera can't focus, but anyways, um, this is the uh, the part that I hacked in half, and I'm gonna go ahead and drill some one millimeter holes, probably three, so that I can stick some pegs in there. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same tool that I used before, and then stick it together. 